Hello, it's Salimek. In today's video, I will mention my top 8 mistakes people do when they start working on their car, instead of fixing, making it even worse. Obviously, this video for those of you who starting working on their car. Most of us did these mistakes before, so I will show you so you don't do that. Keep in mind, I have detailed video for all of these, which I'll put them in the video description box down below. If you're trying to adjust parking brake, don't adjust it from the cable. It will put a continuous tension on the cable even when it's disengaged and it will damage it in the long term. You need to adjust it from brake shoes first and give the brake shoes and the brake drum factory gap. If you notice your brake fluid is low, don't just add brake fluid. It's a good indication that your brake pads are low. Lower brake pads, lower the brake fluid will be to compensate that. And if you have brake fluid leak, that will be a different case. If you're replacing engine filter, always clean the filter box first if it looks like this and then put the new filter in, otherwise all the dirt will be in the new filter soon. Make sure to use the same radiator coolant on your car if you had to add up in case if it was low. If you use different type of coolants, it will chemically react to each other and create this oily substance which you will need to flush the entire system and change the coolant. If you ever seen bird poop on your car's paint, don't ever neglect it and say I will wash my car tomorrow. Just pour some water on it and rinse it away. That way the acid won't burn the clear coat and leave marks like this. If you ever had heavy gas pedal, use some WD-40, it will clean all the dirt and make it soft. But if you put oil on it, it will feel soft at that time but then it will attract dust and make it even worse. After every oil and filter change, take your time and check the oil filter again when you start the engine, in case of oil leaking, and don't let few minutes cost you an engine. Using wrong type of cleaners for different applications, especially for cleaning throttle body and mass airflow sensor. Matter of fact, you can use mass airflow sensor for cleaning throttle body, but you cannot use throttle body cleaner for cleaning mass airflow sensor. Mass airflow sensor cleaners are very special, they clean but don't leave any residue on the surface of the sensor, so the sensor gives accurate reading. I have a detailed video for all of these in the video description box below. Let me know if you did any of these mistakes in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.